Lainey, in today's video, we're going to go over five tips on how to learn self-defense. So stay tuned. Master Jobs is field here of power. I am one of the co-founders alongside Cheryl Sanders, and what we do is we teach Lainey about defense and empowerment training. And in today's video, like I said, we're going to go over five tips on learning self-defense. So let's get right to it. Tip number one is where most women tend to start, and that is take a self-defense seminar from a reputable martial arts academy. They will teach you some basic strikes, different uh, escapes from different holds, a little bit of ground self-defense, a little bit of concepts and strategy. And that's a really good place to start self-defense training. Tip number two is the obvious, take up martial arts. Self-defense comes from martial arts. So do your research, look for a local martial arts school that teaches self-defense. Some martial arts schools are more force based some are more self-defense based So pick a style and pick a school that fits your need but martial arts is one of the best ways to truly learn self-defense. Tip number three, this is also another one that a lot of women tend to start with, and that is take a fitness kickboxing class. Now, I'm not talking about those ones where you're just kind of punching and kicking in the air. I'm talking about a fitness kickboxing class where you get to pound on heavy bags, you get to work with MMA bags, you hit mitts, you work with kettlebell, uh, you do like hard conditioning. That's what you want to do. Take a, a real fitness kickboxing class. Because what you're going to find is you're going to get really good at the basic punching, elbows, knees, and kick. And you're going to want to learn a little bit more once you feel a little more confident in your conditioning and some of the basic skills. Then you transfer over to some of the basic martial arts uh, classes of the school that's offering those fitness kickboxing. Tip number four for learning self-defense is knowing the difference between fighting and self-defense. There is a big difference between getting in a fight and defending yourself. There's a big mentality difference. The best way I can describe this, if you're in a situation where you know you feel it escalating and you know it's going to get to the point where you have to defend yourself, and if you put your hands up like this, boom, you literally just turn the situation that might not have happened at all into a situation where two people are now going to fight. Because a lot of times, when one person puts their hands up and the other person puts their hands up, you are telling each other, I'm going to show you what I have, you show me what you have. And that becomes very, very dangerous. I can't not track how dangerous that is. You want to keep any situation in a, in a self-defense situation where the other person doesn't know that you are ready to defend yourself. So a lot of times, Keeping your hands up in a very neutral position like this when you're talking, and then if somebody gets to look, boom, you now have the ability to, to defend yourself, and that person doesn't know. Because if you switch that fight mode in that person's brain, they're going to be able to take more punishment than if they were in an unknown or not ready mode where if they, if they think that you're not going to attack them, or defend yourself and suddenly you can you attack them with brutal uh, counter-strike, you're going to be able to do more damage way easier because you're not mentally prepared. So make sure if you find yourself in a situation that you might have to defend yourself, keep it in self-defense mode versus swearing up and two people are in a fight mode. Tip number five for today is act out scenario. So once you learn basic self-defense situations and skills and combative strikes and different releases, you want to practice different scenarios. So in martial arts classes, that's what we do. Once students learn various techniques, we put the different techniques in various situations and scenarios. So what, what would you do if this happened? Or what would you do if somebody grabs you? What would you do if somebody grabs you in a bear hug? What happens if you got two attackers? We create all these different scenarios. And some of the best ways to do that is to get some good self-defense book and read about the different stories that you'll find in these books and thinking of that 
So my fourth empowered essential concept strategy that every woman should know. They, there is tons of stories in here, real life stories and made up examples of different scenarios. And what you can do is you can read these scenarios and then ask them out with some partners and see how you would react and be afraid to make some mistakes and then improve upon them. But you can also go ahead and grab this book over at womanempoweredbook.com or go over to the womanempoweredtraining.com and pick up your copy as well as Amazon. They're not all be the link. But basically, that was the five basic tips as far as learning self-defense. There's many more out there, but if you start with just a couple of those, that's going to help you in the long run and progress you in your initial self-defense training. Cheryl here. Hope you enjoyed today's video and found the information extremely valuable. For more videos and training and resources, head on over to Empowered website at womenempowermenttraining.com and help us on our mission to serve one million women and girls in living a more confident life through defense and empowerment training. <laughs>